we're going to kick us off with our tidbits now. We'll get these out of the way to get our guest on. Davo. Yeah, so first tidbit. I don't know whether he's getting older or manager's getting younger, but Zach Greinke has struck out 20% of the active managers in Major League Baseball. So, as I say, he's either getting really old or these managers are getting very young. But uh, I don't know if there'd been a stat like that before, but it's a pretty cool one. Bit of both, a little from right? column, yeah, a little from column A, a little from column B. Yeah. So, and the second one, good old Bo. Bo knows. So, just how good Bo Jackson was in 1989. He had 32 home runs and 105 RBIs playing baseball and then averaged 5.5 yards per carry in the NFL. So whether you look at it from a baseball point of view or an NFL fan, both are outstanding numbers, and he did both in the same calendar year. So uh, we talked about Neon Dion being pretty good as well, the two sports, but there's no one like Bo. No. No one. It's oh, crazy, nice. isn't it? Crazy numbers. And you just think, where would he be if he didn't bust his hip, get that buy on a keep going? Yeah. yeah. Here and now. On to me. So we all know the uh, NFL draft run, run over the weekend. Um, the New England Patriots were the, only, were the second team in the last 30 years, to take a kicker and a punter in the same draft. The other team, the 2000 Oakland Raiders, who drafted a punter and a kicker as well. Where are they now? (laughs) Nowhere. What what, what do you reckon? It's probably not exactly what the the Patriots needed. Nah. (laughs) Uh, uh, They've obviously got their reasons behind it, Randall, but I have no idea why. Were they banking on signing a uh, high-profile high, high profile quarterback that Possibly. has all, all of a sudden signed somewhere else? What were they? They were they were pretty much down the order in the first round, weren't they? They were seventeenth pick and they picked a yep. cornerback. So, yeah, maybe. No. Who would know? But you're Strange, right. They, need, they needed something else. This one, this one... I, Dropped up today, like I actually quite like this one because uh, old Nelson Cruz, who doesn't love old Nelson, you know, at 42 years old and 302 days, uh, he is the second oldest player since 1900 with a five hit game. The only person older than him, who else? Pete Rose, 45 years, 119 days, and it was wow. also against the Giants. Did you guys catch much of that that series? Yeah, it was good. I enjoyed okay. it. I enjoyed it. The I day one, like, oof, bomb fest. Day I'm one, sure day we'll one. talk about it later. Uh, the fifteen oh. eleven, but whew, yeah, Unreal. not a good uh, pitcher's ground. That's for sure. No, it just goes it's to show good. old Nelson Cruz. He's he's still got it, doesn't he? He's an old an old battler. And I, yep. His couple of years there at the Orioles, I enjoyed watching him play. Yeah. No, Still producing. I think he was the one that hit the comebacker too in the day one, wasn't he? They hit uh, yeah. Manea in the knee. Hmm. Crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. So, yeah, no, that was a good series. We'll talk about that a bit more in our baseball later on. What about uh, Sherry Otani? Just missed out. Uh, he needed a home run to become the first starting pitcher to hit for the cycle, and the ball was caught at the warning track. Pretty amazing effort. We all we all know we all go on how good he is and uh, I guess what what he can do. But yeah, that just goes to show you no one else has done it in the history of the sport. So should have the amazing, that a bit earlier. But the amazing fact was he needed the home run. You'd think majority of time it'd be the triple, triple. especially triple. being a pitcher. But uh, that's how good he is, how quick he is. That he had the triple down. He had that down. So. Um, yeah, freak again. Absolute yeah. freak. About this one, the Yankees injured list, 12 players, currently has a payroll of $1.78 million. 117. 117. 
which is more than 26 man, <laughs> more than the 26 man rosters of 13 MLB teams. We can see uh, Baltimore on that re- list there, Randall. That's for sure. And Tampa so, Bay, you know, Tampa Bay. Who was in that? Arizona, Pitts- Pittsburgh. Yeah, there's four, and four right teams. There. Two of those teams already have 20 wins for the year. Yeah, another we'll one. The league. Another one's leading the leading their division, and another one's at almost 680. Yeah. There's, the there's three like, league leaders in there. Yep, really, right. and it's a second place. Um, oh, it's Minnesota. Is it Minnesota in the central for AL? But you got Arizona, Pittsburgh, Tampa, all leading their divisions. Yeah, yep. Goes to show you, money doesn't always buy the the premierships. But and where's nope. the Yankees coming? Last in their division. How good is that? Yes. <laughs> we'll also talk about that later because uh, that's <laughs> that's been uh, quite a hot topic today on social media. That's for sure. All right, that rounds out our tidbits today. 